What's up guys, welcome back for another solo alpha video. We're working on the Sisters of Eve epic arc. Just kind of working through the chapters here. Figure I'd, you know, make this a pretty long video compared to the other episodes and let you guys kind of see um, a little bit more day to day and everything. But for the most part, we're just kind of going through these missions. If you've never done the epic arc before, you can do it pretty soon after you start. You can do it in a uh, destroyer. And what you do, it if you want to find a fit for it, you can just go to the fit window and filter for community fittings here and then what you can do is you can go down to destroyers and i'm pretty sure they have one for every empire so you're gonna be looking for the tech one soe epic arc community fit and these are you know tech one alpha ready things that you can do to go out there and do it and then if you go to the agency you can go over here to agents and missions go to epic arcs and then the one at the top right here the bloodstained stars that's gonna be one you just said desto and it's um, actually really good isk per hour when you're first starting off and also the benefit of it it's like 50 something missions in the entire sequence but at the near the end you're gonna be able to pick one of the empire factions and then you're gonna get a pretty significant standings boost i do try to do this epic arc you can repeat it every 90 days essentially and it just gives the biggest benefit is especially on older characters that don't necessarily need like isk income like the biggest benefit is actually the standing you get to choose one of the four empire factions and you get like i think a 70 percent um a bonus or whatever i don't remember but it's um definitely worth doing so if you're trying to like actually get to the point where you can run like level threes or something trying to get to that that mark doing this you can you can do this early on too which helps some of these missions are a little bit longer than uh, others but this one I'm almost done with this chapter actually I've got this mission and one more the next mission should be like traveling and then I'll be able to start chapter 5 and I try to kill it I try to just destroy every rat that's here I mean you could probably still take this acceleration gate but these little drones actually do have a little bit of a bounty, so I try to just take everything down since we're uh, alpha poor for the most part. I'll take this acceleration gate and then we'll do a reload. Okay, we're chasing this mysterious drone for this mission. I'm still kind of fit for uh, Grease to space, which is fine. It's working out well enough just gonna set approach on that I'm actually gonna throw out my drones here to try to help with taking these guys down he's got me webbed I think it's this guy right here that I've already got missiles on not really worried about it since we're working on taking them down taking them all down anyway yeah, the booster, I think we need to just do, we probably need like a boost amp on here, but see it doesn't do a whole lot, but it helps kind of mitigate a little bit of damage. Go and get another target up. We got like five targets, five launchers, works out. I think I'm pretty close to actually getting uh, Tech 2 Hornets as well, so that will end up helping out quite a bit. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get underneath the gate, because we know which way the gate's going. So I'm going to get below it, and we're going to go in the same direction. So when we activate it, we're already heading in the same direction as it's going to accelerate us. And so it'll be a faster... One other thing you do too is you can actually like aim up like this, kind of. And then just click out there in space. And it'll actually start moving in the direction of the gate. So when we get ready to activate it, it'll be uh, good to go. Which I'll illustrate here if we don't run out of run out of room. We're not going that fast though. So. Alright. Get these drones in, need a reload. Run the booster a little bit. So since we're traveling the same direction of the gate, we should just automatically just shoot off. Just like that. Easy day. So 
Zoom should be a little bit easier. Take down the bigger ships first. Some of them are actually just, yeah, I think all the cruisers are going to disappear. Go and shoot at this cruiser here, which will take it down a lot quicker than we do the frigates. Okay, there's another acceleration gate here. This should be the last room for this mission. I'm going to group up guns just because it works a little bit better. That's the other thing you want to do is if you're running like any sort of, um, you know, light drones, whatever, on your missile boat, or if you have drones that can help you kind of support, <clears throat> you definitely want some control range. So you want to make sure you get those skills to get that control range out. Especially if you're already running like a long range missile ship or, you know, sniper rail guns or something like that. But see, I'm letting, this is what is happening. It looks like I'm letting these frigates come straight at me. And that's another way you can kite too. You can just kind of burn off in the other direction and make them come straight for you. Then, you know, it's not really a tracking thing anymore because they're coming at you at a straight line. When they start to orbit, then we're gonna have, you know, difficulty. So like, for instance, I'm just gonna, if I go Q and I just go way out here, I can turn on afterburner. This ship doesn't go fast enough to actually do a successful kite. Uh, if I would, what, what I would want to do is uh, wanted to start moving in the opposite direction when they're still over here. But as far as like how kiting would work, I'm just going to keep these guys trailing behind me because you know they're not going to be they're not going to have any transversal going on, so it can be make it easier, especially with like if you're running like projectiles and stuff like that. Just manipulating it like this, it's just like the kite snipe works really well with like rail guns. You just get really far out and just keep all of the rats coming at you in a straight line, then you just get really good hits. Helps with the explosions too, because like the, the the missiles actually hit them directly, and they'll be inside of the the, the radius, and they'll take a, a more damage. Just like that, get these drones in, get this mission turned in, and then probably travel to the next chapter area. The Epic Arc is pretty time consuming. Some of the missions are pretty straightforward. There's nothing really complicated about it. Once you finish one of the chapters, it's gonna have you travel quite a bit to the next um, area. So right now we're going into, I think, I wanna say chapter six of seven. So we gotta travel over to Heck. And then once we get there, we'll uh, be able to start the chapter in that area, but it's going to allow you to get a lot of the objectives for your air program as far as killing certain stuff and gate traveling and, and things like that. While we're traveling here, I'll kind of give you an idea. We've been waiting a lot on skills for the most part. My goal right now is to uh, get into a battle cruiser and start doing level 3 security missions. And so we've got the passive tank Drake with heavy missiles that I'm going to be looking to go into. We've got about 26 days, about 27 days to finish that. And that's just getting all the the knickknacks and everything trained out. But the ultimate goal is going to be getting into the Raven here. And this will be a basically a cruise missile Raven that we want to fly around and do a lot of stuff with. The price difference between the Drake and the Raven are, is pretty substantial. So when we get to the point, and this is actually, we're closer to this one. This is like 22 days. So... But the difference, the Raven's like 600 or so mil, and the Drake is only like 145. So we'll probably end up flying the Drake around for a while, just to kind of grind out a little bit, and then grab, grab the Raven and everything. But yep, that's kind of where we're at. Just, you know, at the mercy of uh, skill training and things like that. She is running, or this character is running plus threes show you here in the augmentations. So we're running basics, all five basics, which give us um, plus three to each attribute, which helps uh, speed up. It's really the maximum you can do with an alpha, considering that cybernetics, you can only get up to three. So we can only get, the best we can get as far as training implants is 
the basics. And once we actually hit that five million and we our passive train stops, they won't um, offer us any benefit of having them on. But they're relatively cheap, and I, I put them on like I basically train Cybernetics three as soon as possible, and then I buy them early on so that you can get the most value out of it. My goal ultimately for this character though is to have it train all 20 million of the skills that Alphas can use and essentially be a maxed Alpha skilled tune. Which is going to take a while if I pass a train at all but we're also holding off on like Alpha injectors and things like that until we kind of like get all the passive train stuff done. But once we get into the Raven it's going to be you know probably ratting in the raven is going to be kind of what we're doing there and then we'll uh we might end up upgrading to maybe the astro or something for scanning the heron's fine it's just that the astro is going to get better bonuses which is going to make a lot of the stuff in null um a little bit easier but my main my main short-term goal right now is to just kind of work on standings and just get like a lot of I'm just working on LP for Kaldari Navy and just kind of exploring that a little bit but we're gonna get over here to heck and then you know continue on the mission I'm gonna hope in this episode to show you guys kind of the rest of this epic arc so we're actually starting chapter 5 so we have three more chapters so once we get to heck we'll do all these and then we gotta do chapter 6 and then chapter 7 which will finish it off and we'll get a pretty decent bonus. Let's see what my Kaldari standings are right now. Go up Kaldari State, so 1.65, you know, so we can do level twos. We've been doing level twos as well. Our goal is to get to three, but just kind of give you guys an idea. We're at 1.65. So when we get near the end of the Epic Arc, when we get that uh, standing rewards, you'll be able to see the increase on that quite a bit currently working on chapter six right now so we're almost done really my biggest goal is to kind of blast through this pretty quick that way um you can see kind of where our standings are sitting it'll give us an idea of how much uh how many more level two security missions we need to do in order to get up to three so we can do uh level three sex which will max us out as alphas but then i can actually worry about um just kind of farming isk and everything for our drake and all that so to give you an idea we're on like the third mission of chapter six right now so we'll be done with chapter six pretty quick and then chapter seven is going to be the last one the tricky bit about the last chapter is there's a certain point where you have to where you're going to be able to pick one of the empire factions to help decide with to do those you know second to last mission and that's really kind of what you want to do when you want to just how you're picking your standing reward so what we'll end up doing is we'll pick kaldari and then once we get pick kaldari we'll go fight the, the main dude at the very very end which you know if you're doing it in the tech one destroyer you're going to want He's a little. He does a little bit of damage. You know, tanking a little bit. I don't know if the tech one can do it properly. If you just have minimal skills, I mean, I've done it in that fit before, but I've also had like a lot better. You might have to get like some shield skills going and you know, a little bit more weapon skills and things. But since we're in the caracal, it really shouldn't be an issue. Which we'll uh, we'll see about that when we get there. All right, so we're progressing through chapter seven now. All these missions go by pretty quick. We're um, well, then we'll get to the point where we'll pick Kaldari, and then by the last boss, we'll be done and get those standings. A lot of the missions are going to be in Chapter Seven, and the end of Chapter Six are just kind of like a lot of travel around. It's kind of something you have to kind of worry about, especially when you finish Chapter Six and you get ready to do Chapter Seven. You're going to have to go like basically from. Metropolis, whatever, all the way back to where you kind of started the arc at, which is like they're having you jump like 22 jumps back, which uh, can take a minute, but it's kind of how it is. Just a lot of traveling. So right now we're just kind of working through 
these missions here and getting near the end of it we're on we've done 46 of 52 so just a little bit more now this is going to be the mission that you're going to want to choose which standings you're essentially wanting to get at the end of the epic arc this mission is called the missing piece and what we're going to do is we have to pick between the Galante, Minamartar, Kaldari, or Amar Commander. So since I know I'm going to go with Kaldari Rep for the end of this, I'm going to be picking the Kaldari Commander. And then we're going to accept that choice. And we get to travel a little bit. Undock here and... That we should be on like 48, let's see, 49 actually, we've done 49, so we're going to do this mission and then we've got to go, um, the next mission after this one should be the one where we kill the main dude, which can be a little tough if you're in the T1 destroyer, but I haven't actually done it in a caracal before, so that's going to be actually pretty interesting to see how that goes. Alright, this is the, this is the main, the main dude. So once you actually get out here and you talk to this NPC out here in space, he's going to give you the mission to basically destroy the main dot guy in the whole thing. So we're going to work for location now. See how this goes. I think, the first, I think the first time I did this on the other alpha for the other series, I think I had to like go tech to tank to uh, kind of get through the DPS but we essentially just want to kind of focus this focus on this dude we can just orbit this structure too so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna like throw prop mod on so we're moving a little bit got some transversal going on i think a lot of it just has to do with like his you know i don't remember if he reps or not What's our max flight time? 61. Yeah, he's painting us right now. I think it, it's just going to take a minute. Because he just kind of hangs out there by the structure. But we haven't started taking damage yet. He's halfway through shield. So I think the caracal is going to be enough to take care of it. We just have to worry about... We haven't used our drones in a while. I'm actually using these drones for these... Uh, little frigates and we'll just keep launchers on him see how these tech one hornets do probably not that great considering that uh, we should probably be using warriors for this type of NPC I think it's just going to take a minute few more volleys will be into his armor but as long as the drones can take care of the frigates we'll be uh we'll be good to go we'll just kind of micromanage them a little bit but as long as you can actually get through this mission the whole rest of the arc is super simple it's time consuming because of all the travel all the back and forth and, and things like that. Get those drones. Actually, I can't get the drones back on. The frigate's too far away. Since I'm orbiting. They're not really chasing me either. I'm going to go ahead and approach this dude. He's doing very little damage to me. I think it's because I'm in a <laughs> caracal with tech two tank or tech one tank actually. Well, I mean I got a tech two booster. I haven't used it though. But he definitely doesn't have a whole lot of damage coming through on me. But just be careful if you're in the destroyer, the tech one destroyer from the community fit, because uh, he can pop you in that thing. Approaching him just so I can get on these frigates a little bit. I 
he's doing a little bit better. I think it's just his optimal range is really uh is really tight. If you can shoot him from like 30k out, he's gonna do very minimal damage to you. Cause you'll notice as we get further away from him. Definitely can't wait to get my drone skills a little bit higher and get into the tech two lights. Volleys on up there, he goes. Boop. We should go grab him up. Look at that, we did it with one uh, missile in each launcher left over. I'm going to suck in these drones and then we'll get this turned in. And essentially, what we'll do is we basically go back to the guy that we just picked this up from pretty sure after we grab him and then we have one more mission to complete to finish off the entire the entire arc yeah turn this prop mod off and everything we'll just take a look at my uh, standings again so I'm still at 1.65 so just kind of keep that in mind and we'll do some comparison after I get the uh the standing reward. I don't remember if I get it on this turn in or the next one. And complete. Get the next mission, the last mission. Work for that location. I just need to check and see if I get it from that. I don't think I've gotten it yet. I think that was just the uh, Sister of Eve. Standings for that one. It was literally a player sitting there at that guy with his ship named. Uh, Do you need help with what's his name? I'm going to activate this gate. I'll be glad to have this done, just so we can kind of finish off the standing grind and really kind of sink our teeth into level threes oh yeah so we have to dump yeah, this uh, dude in the prison transport which is right here prisoner inbound go and boost up a little bit just says we're going to be heading back to Jita as soon as we get this mission done. Well, I'm probably still going to continue working on uh, Kaldari Navy just so we can kind of stack the same LP as we're doing everything. So we have basically Kaldari Navy and Kaldari Steel LP. My main had like 13 different LPs. I was like bouncing all over the place doing all kinds of stuff. Right, drop him in here. Go back to the dude. A little bit of travel around. Got a raven, dummy. Nice little NPC fleet. But hopefully after watching this, you guys are, you know, get out there and do this epic arc. It's um, decent income, 52 missions, all that kind of good stuff. All right, start conversation. 
Complete mission. There we go. We also completed the uh, Epic Arc reward as well. So there you go. Kaldari State went from 1.65 to 2.32. Look at that jump right there. Right here. We actually went from like what? 1.52 all the way up to 2.32. Can't argue with that. That's for sure. <clears throat> so that is going to be it for this. We're going to head back to Jita. And uh, kind of get uh, everything kind of sorted and get ready to, you know, we can still got to do, unfortunately, we still got to do like level two sec missions until we kind of close out that last point seven. But I'm hoping I can bang that out in the next uh, 24 hours or so. So uh, the next episode for this, we're going to be trying to like get into dip our toes, start dipping our toes into those level threes and see how that goes. But thank you for watching and I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out.